Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. I'm David Gafford, and today we're going to do a little bit of our chicken thigh recipe that we use for competitions here at the Barbecue Lab. So if you're even thought about doing competition barbecue, you need to be able to have a way that you're going to do chicken thighs or chicken legs that's going to get those judges going, wow. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a little bit of a taste of what we do with this chicken thigh recipe. So, let's get started. So today what we're going to use is we're going to use these bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs that we picked up at our local Costco. These are Kirkland fresh chicken thighs. You can find these, they're about a buck a pound or so. And this is a great thing to practice your comp recipe on. So all we're going to do is we're going to take these chicken thighs out of the package and we're going to go ahead and we're going to separate the skin from the thigh. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take our knife and get that layer of fat off of the chicken thigh skin so that the chicken skin can get that much more crispy and be bite through like those judges are really looking for. took the fat off the skin, we made sure that we are actually ready to get into the pan. And the real purpose of this pan is so we have nicely formed pieces of chicken. Now we went ahead and put rub on each piece of chicken, we went underneath the skin, and now we're just gonna slide a pat of butter on the top of each piece of chicken. What this is gonna do is gonna kinda cook these pieces of chicken in a little bit of a butter bath. And that's the idea, is we wanna get these really super soft on the inside, and we want them to be tasting awesome when those judges take that first bite. I'm gonna go ahead and just get this extra little fat on here for it to start cooking, and we're gonna stick this in the smoker, let it go up about 300 degrees, and we'll keep you posted on what's next. All right, we're at about the halfway point with this chicken. It's been on here for about 40 minutes or so. We're gonna check it with the instant read thermometer and see what temperature this stuff is sitting at. And when you look at this, oh my goodness, how good does it look bubbling away in that butter bath? You know this chicken is gonna be delicious when you get this out. Now we're just gonna check this internal temperature here. I got about 155, 156 or so. Do you wanna check it? So you're not getting the bone, because if you get the bone, you're going to get a false reading. But we're sitting there about 155 or so. We're getting a pretty good temperature on those. But one of the things we want to do now is we want to pull them off when they hit around 165, and we're going to glaze them. We're going to put our barbecue sauce on, and we'll put them back on the pit so we can glaze that sauce. We just tempt our chicken, and we're actually right at the point where we want to pull it off and go ahead and get it out of that butter bath, and we're going to go ahead and put our sauce on. So I'm going to pull it out here real quick. And I've got glove liners on underneath these gloves so that they don't burn. But the whole idea is we're gonna take this chicken right out of the butter bath and we're gonna go ahead and put this sauce on it. Now I just have some of the barbecue sauce that we use and I went ahead and heated up this barbecue sauce so we can go on easier. Now a lot of times in competition, you're gonna dunk the whole entire chicken thigh in the sauce to be able to make sure there's no brush marks on the top. Now we're practicing our, our competition recipe but we're just eating at home today. So I don't feel like I'm gonna go through the whole method of doing the dunk today, but let me show you what we're talking about. We're just gonna grab that chicken thigh and we're gonna take our sauce and we're just gonna paint it on, right? We wanna be able to get a good amount of sauce on here so that this can actually really set and make this awesome looking glaze on our chicken thigh. Now, a lot of people would say, hey, I'm worried about the brush marks. Well, that's okay. For competition, go ahead and dip this thing. But for now, for today, we're just going to get a really good coat on this chicken. I'll go ahead and do this. Get a nice look to the top. And we're going to go ahead and do this to all six thighs. And once we do, it will be time to eat. So stick with us. All right, we pulled our chicken thighs out. They've been glazed. This glaze is set. And I got to tell you, we cannot wait to dive into these for dinner. So you need to make this recipe. Grab a, grab a rub that you love. Get some butter on some chicken and give this a shot. I hope you really enjoy this. This is a great chicken recipe for your family. Thanks for coming back to the Barbecue Lab. We hope to see you again next time. 
And if you haven't subscribed yet to the Barbecue Lab, now's a great time. Hit that subscribe button down in the corner. We put out new videos all the time. We shoot for at least one a week, and our goal is to help you unleash your inner pit master. We can't wait to see you wow your friends and neighbors in the backyard.